this is a foldable suitcase vehicle that we have made here we see the front chassis um, at the back side we see the back chassis here we have the batteries the controller the hub wheel is beneath the seat if you can see it uh, then we have the handle uh, the throttle is here so basically you accelerate this uh, the wiring goes to the controller the controller is powered by the four batteries here uh, these batteries are lead acid batteries uh, each is 12 volts 9 amperes so when you connect them in series we have 48 volts 9 amperes uh, in between you see mcb switch that is a circuit breaker now once we switch on switch on the circuit breaker uh, the vehicle is ready to start and to go now i'll show you a demonstration of how it runs no uh you sit like this you place your legs and then switch on the circuit breaker and it is ready to move it just moves that's all and that's how this suitcase vehicle works now to explain it in more detail uh we have the trolley wheels here the two trolley wheels and one hub wheel at the back as i showed you earlier this is the hub wheel at the back now this is the steering mechanism this is ackerman steering mechanism wherein we have this bush that is welded to it and we have two washers so basically when you turn this this rotates now what we have done here is we have just put a pin a m6 screw m6 screw now you remove it the handle is totally retractable you can take the handle off now you can again this is the rod so basically when you move this rod uh, the whole steel mechanism moves that's how it works so once you insert the rod that is the t bar we have to insert the pin that is the m6 screw and the handle is ready to move as soon as you finish driving kindly switch off the vehicle because uh, it has very high torque in the beginning that is 8.8 uh, 8 newton so newton meter so kindly switch off the torque so once you accelerate the vehicle has immense torque and it starts moving with a high speed now after the handle uh, these are the trolley wheels uh, the steering mechanism i have talked about so we have it moving like that wherein we have attached a bar a flat plate to the trolley wheels and we have screwed it so again here it is the same way we have the trolley wheels attached and we have the screw here so the plate goes from this to this main bar which is attaching the two wheels and it, it keeps them in balance then we have another bar that is connecting it the link another link that is connecting it to the uh, handle the t bar so once we move the handle it simply moves uh, it has a turning angle of just 30 degrees and that is the front part of the front chassis now why am i mentioning it as front and back chassis is because there are two different parts the front chassis is different from the back chassis we have connected them both with the help of this connecting rod here this is the connecting rod uh, this is basically connecting the front and the back chassis you can see a hole through the suitcase so you can see this rod going through this so this is a innovation in making this suitcase vehicle uh once you remove the connecting rod uh, the suitcase is foldable i'll show it to you later now again the same way we have done this here at the back uh, the batteries are again uh, each are 12 volts uh, 9 amperes connect them in series it becomes 48 volts now we have the electric controller which is 24 volts 75 amperes um uh, the controller forms the heart of the vehicle so without it nothing else nothing would work so the throttle is accelerated it go uh, it gives commands to the controller the controller in turn connects the hub wheel and the battery is powering the whole system the circuit breaker acts as the ignition switch here now uh yeah that's all about the chassis uh now we have the brake here uh, the brake is 
done in such a way this is drum brake that is incorporated there we, we cannot see it because it is under the seat now once you press this the wheel stops so it is pressing like this both are on the right side the throttle and the brake you might ask it should have been the left side but the once you leave the accelerator the vehicle stops uh, this brake was provided so that it, it is useful only in slopes wherein uh, the momentum is high so you just press the brake when you are going in a slope so the vehicle stops otherwise on a flat surface once you leave the accelerator the vehicle will stop by itself now um, i'll remove the connecting rod and then i'll show you how it is foldable uh, just a second Uh, this is being hammered because this hasn't got used to it. Once it is ready, or uh, once after many usages, it can be easily removed. For now, I'll hammer it. The connecting rod comes off like this. This is the connecting rod. You can place the connecting rod outside. Then again, sorry. difficult but yeah, once you do it once you get used to it it would happen you can automate the system later now the throttle here is connected to this wire so just remove it the switch can be removed remove the pin is a very important pin that you need to keep safe so the T bar also comes out now you can completely fold the vehicle by us it is myself Sriram uh, Srinidhi Shabazz and Raghavendra Arbat now we can see the slots here uh, through which the connecting rod goes so once you open it um, you can put the connecting rods through these holes now we have a wheel here and a handle here so when you make it stand up vertically now I cannot do it because I am using lead acid batteries but you have uh, Lion batteries of 48 volts 10 amperes the vehicle can be made to stand and then uh, it can be placed in the parking case now in the place of a Maruti car we can place close to 89 to 90 foldable cars as such so that is what we have done once again you can open it That's all. You put the connecting rods, fix the handle, and it is ready to run. Where this can be used is in places like uh, large eco-friendly campuses. Uh, take for example Infosys, wherein uh, petroleum vehicles are not allowed. Now what we do is use these kind of vehicles in such places, wherein only cycles are used. This is totally eco-friendly. There is zero noise, and there is... Uh, no pollution from this vehicle. The batteries, uh, if you use Lion batteries that can be recharged every day, the Lion batteries can give you up to 40 kilometers. So, 6 hours charge can give you 40 kilometers. So, the parking at the security, we can have these vehicles, large number of vehicles as such. Once the people enter, we can give them these vehicles so that they can take it uh, near their building, park it there, and get back with the same vehicle. That's all. This is a foldable suitcase vehicle. And yeah, thank you.